Hi guys, before we dive in, I just want to let you know that I've got a new single out. It's called Better Days. It's a collaboration with an artist called Nappy Dizzle. I'm featuring on it. It's a really fun track. It sounds a bit like this. Let's move on to the show today. Hi guys, welcome to the Music b and B. I'm 315 and today we're going to be looking at a discography. A discography of a person called J.R.P. Surreal. An artist who has been releasing music since 2021. And not just some music, five albums worth of music since the year 2021. A massive undertaking, but when you enjoy it as an artist, that comes just so easily. Another interesting thing about all these albums is that they were recorded in the artist's uh, bedroom with an iPod, an iPhone, and just a pair of headphones. JRP Surreal describes his music as little worlds of expression, self-expression, combined with poetry, and each one has its own specific purpose. So what we'll do is we'll talk about each album, and then we'll go into some of the songs that stood out to me and my reactions to them. JRP his first album released in 2021 was called Hologram. I really like the artwork that is shown up on there. It's a really personal work of art and JRP Serials describes it as his most personal piece of art to date. It is a piano record that had the longest process of creation of any album over the two years. And a track that stood out to me was a track called Rewind with its thumping bass line and soaring sort of melodies over the top. So let's give that a little listen right now. Forget. And another track that stood out to me in particular was a track called Distorted with its unusual introduction and then 80s vibe sort of uh, electronic throughout again with a nice sort of melodies going along with it. Tuning thing going on. Some sort of 80s, sort of almost like we're going to be kicked in with a Rick Roll. Maybe he'll still drive me crazy, crazy. You make my mind spin around. And what amazes me the most about this project is that, it, and all these projects, was that they were all created just using iPhones, iPods, things like that. Um, the sound quality, considering those were the only things that used, oh, it's actually quite, it's quite good. We then move on to the second album in 2021, which is called Reverie, which was inspired by Bjork's homogenic piece of work. It is a poetic daydream record and a string record. One of the favourite tracks that stood out for me was one called Silencio. I really liked the inclusion of another language. Let's give that a listen. Strings give it a sort of a um, maybe cinematic kind of feel. Going to a calm, relaxing. And then after taking just two months to complete Reverie, the record after that is called The Trip, which is a psychedelic R&B Tame Impala inspired record. A lot of effects and synthesized work um, and it's a euphoric and positive record. Out of the whole project, the title track, The Trip, stood out for me with its euphoric sound and singing, very emotional singing, but also positive. Let's give that a listen. <laughs> So like melodic, isn't it? And, uh, and clear. Just feel euphoric, almost like you're floating in uh, clouds in like a heaven or something. Lots of vibrato in the voice. Moving into 2022, we end up with an album called Voltage, which is JRP Serials, Social Justice, and Drum and Bass type of an album. It's a fiery, violent, driven record about change and resilience. And it has the coolest drums and compositions. And I would agree with that as well. Uh, my favorite being Adrenaline. We've got some nice sort of crunchy drums. Let's give that a listen. Hear that crunch. And 
And also a shout out to On Fire, the album's closing track, which has a really cool drum and bass beat in the background. Sort of love the kind of um, almost Middle Eastern kind of maybe Indian vibe singing. Goes along in a lot of the um, a lot of the records in JRP serials. Um, in JRP Serious Gallery. And the final track so far in the discography is Oasis, which is a guitar and oceanic album. Inspired by Lord Solar Power and St. Vincent's Daddy's Home, uh, this album is kind of the opposite of Voltage in terms of its uh, outcome, more like a roller coaster of emotions instead. The album is about self reflection, and my favourite thing about the album is that it includes a lot of guitar passages and guitar riffs. My favourite guitar riff being Moonlight. Let's give that a listen. This has the best production out of all the projects so far. Being an hour and ten minutes long, it's quite a meaty album to listen to, but there definitely are highlights in there. Another song I want to point out, point your attention to if you do listen to this, is Boomerang, which has some really nice production. The really nice production, the production is getting better considering it's on iPhone. It's still do with maybe a bit of low end bass. And also a final shout out to a song called The Miracle, which is a beautiful song um, played so exquisitely. The emotion really does come through in this track. It sounds like a really sort of nice ballad. Let's give that a go. So that is JRP Serial's discography. So where can JRP Serial go next with this? I would recommend maybe investing in some uh, equipment that to be able to record. And the problem is when you're recording with things like iPhones, although they are much better than they ever used to be, uh, the problem is with them is that they, they, they lose a lot of that low end. Uh, so I would like to see maybe a lot of low end. In terms of changing up the style, it's nice to see on every album that there was a different theme, a different style coming through. What I would like to see is maybe from JRP Serious some switching up of the vocals. We do have very long sort of held melodic notes from the singer continuously. So it would be nice to get some staccato kind of quicker passages as well. So it'd be interesting to see where that goes with that. But on the whole, very interesting projects. Uh, it's nice to see how quickly that music is being made and turned around and I do enjoy artists that can that produce a lot of music quickly that's something I find difficult to do but it really interests me when there are artists out there that produce a lot of music many different genres and just you can just tell that they just love recording writing and making music if you really liked any of JRP serial stuff make sure to click on the link below. It'll take you to a song whip link, which will then take you to all the different channels that you need. If you like that, make sure to, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. Tell me what you enjoyed most about uh, JRP's things as well. Maybe give my music a listen, check out my podcast, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye, I guess.